there's a lot of comedy in this version of, of Animal Farm. So there's a little bit of clown in it as well. Uh, one of the big questions for me, as the, especially as the costume designer, is how do uh, we turn the people, how do we turn the actors into these farm animals? And at least two of the rules that are in the novel, the rules of animalism, make it really complicated. So one of the rules is uh, four legs good, two legs bad. And the other one is no animal shall wear clothes. We didn't really want to put animals on all four legs. <clears throat> that seemed like it would be such a chore for the actors. And the other part of that was clothing would be something that we'd be dealing with for sure. That was part of how we were going to establish what the characters were and who they were. This is Napoleon. In the novel is, is the pig who sort of, as the, as the play goes on, gains the most power. And becomes sort of, he becomes the leader of uh, Animal Farm. One of the things that we thought would be really fun is, is playing with a material like padded, um, quilted material. You know, the sort of stuff that you would see in, in outerwear in, in wintertime. And that just will add like a certain kind of birth to them. This is Benjamin, the donkey, who will be played by Guillermo Verdecchia. This, all of this costuming is based on a kind of workwear from the UK. Uh, it's really simple stuff and simple lines and simple shapes. Uh, and then, you know, we add things like he'll be wearing this nose and, and he'll have ears attached to some kind of bowler hat. Then this is, I, I love this sketch because it's so small on this giant page, but it's this sketch of the chickens. And, and part of this, the idea behind the chickens is that we're gonna keep them really simple. Like everybody else is kind of layered and has a little extra size, but the chickens, I think, of course they're still people, so they're gonna be the same size, but the idea is that they'll feel less encumbered. They'll feel like smaller individuals just because they, they're they not really gonna be wearing much at all. They, they'll have these hoods and then this very simple dress that looks like a nightgown and maybe some kind of colored tights and flat shoes so that it's really, really simple and we're not changing their shapes much at all. But, I mean, that was one of the things that we had to bear in mind as we went through, like, what is the different size of each animal and how do they relate to one another? So this is sort of our, our one of the ways that we are hoping to solve it. Keep, keep these guys simple, because they're so small, and then the pigs, as they get bigger, layered and layered and bulked up.